You know, this episode of Ride Smart, we're going to start a series called the Craig Cameron Cowboy Challenge. Hey, if you love cowboys, you like horses, and you like action, hey, we got it all going on right here. We're going to put these guys through their paces, and we got all kinds of champion cowboys and top horses that are going to go to work. Hey, this is something you're going to like. You're going to want to track it all the way. And guess what? We got $16,000 up for grabs for these guys in championship buckles as well. And that's going to be for the next seven weeks right here on Ride Smart. You're going to get to meet all these guys, and you're going to know them well by the time this series is over. But right now, they're going to draw to see who's going to go first on the first Cowboy Challenge. All right. The Cowboy Challenge, uh, for me, uh, I was thinking of something to you know, bring folks a chance to see real cowboy work, uh, real cowboys, uh, authenticity, toughness. You know, these guys reaching down kind of in their hearts and souls and, and working from their guts. The men that I chose for this, uh, they really are the real deal. Cole Cameron, Bruce Cameron. These guys are got my blood running through their veins. Jim Sharp, his partner, Ted Noose. Both those guys, I guarantee they always come first place. Clint Hopping, Greg Gansko from Oklahoma, and talk about humor and a lot of fun. Runt Raggeth, Chris Redden. Now you talk about some real working cowboys and really authentic. You know, the Cowboy Pace is, is about a four mile trail ride. And it's the same ride that I take all my students on here at the ranch when they attend a Craig Cameron clinic. But these guys had to go at a really good clip through the whole thing, past the obstacles, through a lot of obstacles, that type of thing. A lot of fun for each and every guy and really made them think and really have to ride. And again, take care of their horses. Bruce Cameron here. Uh, I'm from Giddings, Texas, and we're here at uh, Craig Cameron's place, and uh, I'm here with my cousin Cole. Uh, Cole Cameron, a native to here in Bluffdale. Really happy to be home and competing with my cousin. Cole and I, you know, grew up together and at the Giddings Ranch, visiting a lot and uh, you know hanging out, and uh, you know, we had some good times. Yeah, I think it's important to note that the Cameron ranching family goes back a long way, almost three generations to the Cat Spring Ranch in the early 1900s, and. Uh, Later on, um, probably about 1930s, um, our great grandmother acquired the Giddings Ranch out about two hours outside Houston. And uh, or my dad, uh, Bruce's uh, uncle, grew up out there with the old Frank Hamer, who took down uh, was one of the men responsible for taking down Bonnie and Clyde. And he went. He grew up out there working uh, cows with Frank Hamer, and um, you know we're really blessed to have him here showing us what he learned out there in Giddings. So it's it's uh, learned a lot growing up, and I mean. Words really can't even explain how much I've learned from them. For the brown bandits, you never know we're gonna sneak up behind and steal the loot. All right, this is the bandit team drawing up first, guys. See if you can set the pace, get close to the optimum time. Take good care of your horses, use your horsemanship skills on your mark, get set, go. All right, here's Cole just heading out on this long cowboy pace. This thing's around, you know, three to four miles long, and his horse looks really good right now, eyes up, ears forward, and, you know, and there it is, that good traveling trot. That's what we're looking for as he makes a turn here, just picking his horse up and easing down the trail. Got a seven-year-old gelding, a little buckskin. He's a, he's a cool little horse. You can do quite a bit on him. He's pretty versatile, I think, for this event. He's going to do just fine. He's good in pasture work, good at branding. I uh, can rope on him, drug some cows on him. So I think he's just the horse for this event. All right, Bruce Cameron. Really moving along just about right, right here for a cowboy pace. You know, you got to take care of your horse. They got a long way to go. 
I want these horses again. I do, again, a lot of trotting, some loping, and he's doing it just right as he weaves down, heading down the trail, and he's got his little old stock dog cricket with him, and good, oh, look at that. Picking up the pace, looking where he's going. I tell you what, that cowboy's looking very good. I brought my uh, big red horse, Buns. He's about 10 years old. Um, I bought him from Craig about six years ago, and uh, I've just been using him to start colts and uh, you know ride the ranch and uh, rope a little bit and all sorts of stuff. He's a, just a good all-around horse. Cole Cameron coming around the bend. You know, big downhill here. And look at this cowboy, right? He's got a really good clip going and nice work coming up to the bridge. Nice job all the way through. We're getting into some rough country now. We're getting way back in the brush. The trail's getting narrow. And here's some jumps. They're not required to go over them, but I'll tell you what, it's a straight line. That's the way I do it. I mess up. I'll tell you what, look at Cricket right on his tracks, right on his tail. And Bruce using that baton to encourage that horse to move forward, and that's what he's going to need. Well, there's Bruce Cameron. Real nice, just really just trotting right on through there and no hesitation on that horse through that cowboy curtain. Well, here comes a handoff. These guys, oh wow, look at that, they tossed it. That was really cool. I tell you what, these guys are going for the gold. Cole Cameron, good even trot on this old tough buckskin horse. Call him Smokey Lonesome. You know, hands up forward, sitting really square in the saddle. Now here he comes to that cowboy curtain. And again, that's just like going through brush or anything like that. And there is absolutely no hesitation. And that is a really good pace for this cowboy. All right, Cole coming out of the rough country. You know, they got a, a ring, an obstacle right here in front of them. You know, they can choose it or take it, either one, whatever they want. And Cole smoothed the silk right on through there. I'll tell you what, look at him kind of setting up for these jumps here. You know, he's trying to get this horse just right. And uh, getting these jumps, all these horses hadn't seen this stuff. He's trying to just get, keep that horse on course, right ahead, get it done, and keep on moving. You know, it's all about time here, the correct time. And that could have used up a little time the right way or the wrong way. That will be remain to be seen. Well, Bruce Cameron, nice narrow path crossing the bridge and a lot, no hesitation at all. At a pace race, you know, no one knew the ultimate time, you know, it was kind of, you knew you wanted to lope, trot, walk a little bit and, you know, not wear your horse out. So it was, it was kind of a, you know, any, anybody's game on that one. Cole Cameron. Riding a nice buckskin horse. You know, and this old horse can have a little bit of a mean streak. He can be tough, and Cole's doing a good job just riding along, looking just right here. And he's right on the trail, carrying that baton with his own style. And I'll tell you what, he's moving, definitely covering some ground. Okay, here comes Cole. And again, they, they can take this three-step any way they want, but this is a long race. And to be honest with you, I would weave it. That's the way I rode it when I timed this thing. And Cole's doing a nice job of guiding, not pulling, with his hands up forward as he heads down the trail here. He's kind of getting close to the home stretch. He picks up a nice lope, and that's what I would have done at this point in the race. Bruce Cameron coming out of the woods here, kind of heading down the home stretch right now. You can see his horse got a little bit of a sweat, but it looks like he's taking really good care of him. And you know what, he's got that good traveling pace, that good traveling trot. I love that. Look at the ears up on that horse. Look at that guy carrying his elbow in close to his side, really soft rain, heading up that rocky trail right up to the top. You know, this guy's headed for the home stretch. This ought to be good. I'm excited to see what his time is gonna be. Whoa, are they looking good. Go, 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 you know time! When we passed each other, we said a couple words and we just tossed that baton and, and we knew we wanted to slow down a little yeah. bit, but we yeah. wanted to have a quick handoff. We were pretty in sync because we ended up you know, at the finish line about the same time, so we, I think we both kind of took our time on the way back, but we were, we were kind of, we were flying through there when we saw each other, mm -hmm. so that was pretty cool. Come on, Bryce, and time! One of my favorite pieces from the Craig Cameron collection is 
the Craig Cameron Colt saddle. Um, this is one of uh, the most important uh, pieces of equipment for me to use uh, as a cowboy. I start a lot of Colts and my first rides always go on the saddle. Um, not to mention it's also a great riding saddle. I use it all weekend here and we did uh, multiple events uh, that included uh, you know, riding uh, anywhere from uh, a walk to a trot to a, a quick, uh, a quick lope. So, um, I, uh, this, I'll take this anywhere with me, and I, and I think it's a, it's a great piece of equipment for any rider. Craig Cameron, Colt Saddle. Welcome back to the Craig Cameron Cowboy Challenge. I'm Rent Regeth. I'm from Harris, Missouri, and I'm Chris Red, and I'm from Ravenwood, Missouri. Ever since I'd seen it on TV the first time, I uh, thought, boy, that looks like something really fun to go do. And all the different disciplines and stuff you can put into your horse just by doing Craig's Extreme Cowboy Racing really makes a nice and better horse out of it and a lot better horseman out of me. It changed the way I rode. I was a Missouri State Champion saddle bronc rider and bareback rider in high school. You know, I could ride horses fine, but I didn't know how to use my hands right. You know. Uh, it made me a lot lighter with my hands, made me think about things. Uh, we was in that race at, at uh, Kansas City, and I, the one thing I always remember Craig saying whenever I'd go to stop my horses, look at that old black horse's mouth gap open. And that was all because of me. I was too heavy with my hands. That's I went to the first EXCA race in uh, Wichita. It, from the first one, it's made me want to be a better horseman and make better horses at home. Uh, just the things that you ask your horse to do that you wouldn't normally do at home you know, I grew up ranching, but the uh, finesse and the technique and stuff that they want to see at the cowboy races, uh, you know, I just didn't have, didn't acquire those skills until after I started going to Craigsdale's, and, and it made me want to work on my horses and make them be better when I got someplace. We're, we're going to be the Red Rangers here at, the, at this cowboy challenge. Uh, we'd really like to have some badges or something, you know, that states that we're red rangers but i don't know if we can get that pulled off or not we'll we'll kind of have to talk and hey craig can we get some badges <laughs> all right this is red ranger team chris redden runt raggeth you all kind of know the drill and you know what to do you're both champion cowboys so let's see what you got are you ready yes sir. on your mark set go Chris Redden, uh, Runt Raggeth. Tell you what, watch out for those Red Rangers. Watch them when they work. They're smooth. And those guys are very, very tough. And uh, they will sneak up on you and steal the event. My horse is a 14-year-old Gildan that uh, bought as a ranch horse. I gave $750 for him as a four-year-old and been hauling him to the EXCA races for about the last eight years. Run ragged, good working cowboy, just starting out on this long trail here. Man, look how close he cuts it. He's just right on the mark. This guy's always seems to be on the mark. If you watch how smooth he is, you're gonna be amazed at what an excellent hand this good cowboy is. Well, here comes Chris Red, national champion of the Extreme Cowboy Association this year. Boy, this is a nice horse he rides, and these are true working cowboys. They day work up in Missouri. That's what they do for a living. These guys are the real deal. Boy, look at the soft, slack reins as he eases through there, really taking care of this horse and knowing he's got to make a lot of horse tracks in this particular cowboy pace. I'm riding my gorilla horse, Cisco. He's out of my old black stud horse that I actually started the EXCA racing on. He's also my daughter's ex-barrel racing horse. So he's been hauled a lot of miles. Just a pretty good, nice ranch horse. You know, this red team, I tell you, these guys know each other well. They've worked a many a day and a many hour together. Man, what a nice job. What a comfortable look he's got. And both these working cowboys are used to riding rough country. Man, what a great job. I don't think they can do it much better. This red team, look out, guys. They're on the move. Red Ranger team on the move. Chris Redden making it look simple. National champion in extreme cowboy racing. And I'll tell you what, it's paying off right now with a lot of good experience. Boy, I tell you what, Mr. Consistency just coming on. I tell you what, he goes through that cowboy curtain like it isn't even there. What a nice job by that national champion. Excellent work for the Red Ranger. Red Ranger team coming around the bend and right at each other, making a great exchange with a lot of momentum. Hey, these guys are for real. Runt Ragged, 
Tell you what, this guy's always so quiet and correct, you know, just really looks good in the saddle. Him and his horse, what a great horse and rider team. And I tell you what, he goes through there like a revolving door on a Saturday night. All right, you know these extreme cowboy champions, I'll tell you what, they make these obstacles really look easy. These horses have a lot of experience with these working cowboys. You can see why our Runt Ragged, two-time world champion. Well, here comes Chris Redden, I'll tell you. Look at the soft hand, loose rein, ears up on that horse. He picks up a lope going uphill. Hey, and he is looking so good all the way through. Man, this is looking just righteous. You know, here comes Runt Ragged. Looking so good. And again, this guy's just silky smooth all the time. You know, he just got that quiet look on his face, very casual, as he just eats this course up. You know, he always looks like he's not doing much, and then he's always got one of the very best times and one of the best scores. This guy's a great competitor, and I'll tell you what, he's doing a great job here this morning on this cowboy pace. Well, here he comes, Mr. Smooth right there. And I'll tell you what, this guy always is really smooth with his horses. Coming around the bend, taking it just the way it's supposed to be done. Traveling just right. Well, there's Runt Ragged. You can see why he's a champion on the Extreme Cowboy Association. You know, Runt Ragged on the Red Ranger team always looks and rides so smooth and really quiet with his horses. And this has been a long trail about four miles, but boy, he looks just right. Got a lot of rhythm. Horse is really looking in good shape, and that's really important on this cowboy pace. He's got to get that gate open now. Carrying that baton at the same time. They made the switch earlier up the trail. And look how quiet he is on the gate. Excellent work there as he slides or shut. Heading to the home stretch. He wanted to get that clock stopped as quick as he can. Well, this is our man, Chris Redden had a long trail had and that's been about four miles of just you know trot and walk and can and that's the way you want to do it all about taking care of your horse putting that horse first but you know what it's a horse and rider team effort to get the maximum time right here and this cowboy always doing such a superior job it's going to be interesting to see who wins this part of the challenge well Ron, I was probably a little too much pace on that pace race. Uh, you know, Craig, he didn't give you any insight as to kind of where he needed to be. You just kind of had to guess, and you know, it's just anybody's game. And the whole thing was just take care of your horse and yeah, and, and get through it. And, and my horse has a pretty good long trot to him, so I tried to hold him back on that all I could, but still let him walk to where try to travel the way he wanted to travel. So you know, he's in really hard and in shape. He's been riding hard, and he, he's kind of used to going, so it didn't. Yeah, you didn't have to worry about him wearing out. Didn't yeah. you? No, he's not wore out. He's <laughs> still ready to go. Next time on the Craig Cameron Cowboy Challenge. Got the green team here. All right, Clint Hopping, Greg Gansko. Greg Gansko from Oklahoma, and he showed up here when he was about 19 years old asking for a job, you know, wanting to learn. Clint Hopping, you know, a man of God, and he works on a ranch every single day. All right, Greg Gans on the mean green team here. Coming on now, starting out his pace. He's carrying the baton. Clint Hopping absolutely wasting no time at all. He is moving on quite quickly. Greg Gansko, he's into the brush country right now, crossing that bridge. All right, here comes Clint Hopping from the green team. Boy, it's been a long trail, but he's looking good on the big red saw ranch horse. It, it, it was a true test to your horse. And uh, I was, I got to bring my, my best ranch horse, and, and I'm glad I did. All right, got the bull team here. Now, you guys know what it takes to win a championship. Jim Sharp, I mean, two-time world champion bull rider. His partner, Ted Noose, won the world championship of bull riding in 1985 in the PRCA. Both those guys, I guarantee you, they always come first place. Boy, here comes Jim Sharp. You know, and this guy being 
one of the best bull riders that really ever walked. You know, a lot of people don't realize he, he's really a great cowboy. Well, you might call him the bull team, I call him the business team. That was definitely a businessman exchange. Great work by those cowboys. Ted Newsom, I tell you, old Gray just so rock solid here. Ted just working like a, the champion that he always is. This is a great facility, you know. Uh, hadn't been to too many that's been quite this nice. We've got a beautiful covered arena. We got great trails to ride, ponds. It's just doesn't get any better than this. It's pretty awesome. Craig Cameron Horsemanship Clinics at the Double Horn Ranch are designed to fit each rider's individual needs. Five different round pins, corrals, arenas, and the original Extreme Cowboy Race Course make great horses and riders. I learned more in three days than I have in the first 35 years I rode a horse. It was like having a private lesson, even though it was a group, it was like having a private lesson. Yeah, you'll wear out the Wrangler in your jeans, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Advance your horsemanship and come ride like a champion with me at the Double Horn Ranch. The dog's very interested in the in the pace. <laughs> That's good. Here's a new obstacle okay, for us. Move the dog, please. <laughs> <laughs>